Well, there's a man who looks just like you who became president the other day. <laughs> How are you? No, Gil Grosvenor, of course. And uh, he would like to introduce you to Dr. General Mayor. Delighted to meet you, sir. Well, it's nice very to glad see you. you. Congratulations. <laughs> From a Kenyan. <laughs> Thank you very much. Dr. Alan Walker. Yes, thank you. Hello, John Hopkins. His wife, Pat Shippen. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. No merit. Mary Smith. Well, how are you? I'm Mary Smith. I'd like to see you. Ian Thompson. That's it. Bob Turingo. Delray Graves. And his wife, Joyce Graves. And Ken Weaver. And Joe Judge. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Gil, why don't uh, you and Mary uh, show the Mary, president? This is your, uh, uh, listen, we have a little. Your show and tell. Bill oh, no, Garrett. Bill Garrett. Yeah, yeah, come on. He's the one really the bank for It was found in the Fayum of Egypt. And what we're discussing at the moment is whether or not this technique can be used to really illustrate the three dimensional beauty of some of these skulls as objects in themselves, regardless of the scientific issues. Not photography before, where you have interference with the pattern of light. So this doesn't really exist. That's right. It just looks gray. It's a bit of information induced by lasers. What we'll have, we have what they call a quick and dirty plague. They will have a this is not a true hologram. This is simply a representation of a real hologram. I must confess I was, I'm impressed. Last night I was less impressed. He had not seen it until this morning. He was impressed. I'm dazzled by computers. I don't understand. Yes. It's cool to see them playing with the computer. They are the business that I used to be in. The libraries of the head of the agenda. And he was telling me about a Ginger Rogers picture, a musical one, much better scared Ginger Rogers picture. Mm -hmm. It just happened that by coincidence, I had been talking to someone about that particular picture, and I can't even remember the conversation, except I did remember this. He was telling us at the table how they discovered and found people that could tell him that the dress, the gown she was wearing in the dance was pink. And I had to say, it was blue. <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't even face him. So he just put it back in the computer and he said, well, maybe Change blue. Change it. Change it. Change it. Change it. Change enjoyed serving you, but we're also very pleased that there will be four more years of this thank, thank you. We'd also like to say thank you for being here with us. I'm we have said a that wrong. <laughs> the uh, task force today is to provide a very brief update on our progress since 1971. And as you know, as you have said very clearly to us, this has been a nitpicking job. That looking at all the federal policies, the procedures, regulations, our practices, and what we're going to do about them, and how we ensure that there's no discrimina discrimination against women, is something of concern to all of us, and we think we've tried to do a good job in that area. Forty-two agencies have participated in our effort, and we have published five quarterly reports 
36 agencies have participated in those to date, and we expect the last six to be online. Yeah, no, Mr. Larry Schumann. Good to see you again. States takes pleasure in presenting the Legion of Merit to Lieutenant Colonel Bruce A. Gordon with the following citation. The Legion of Merit is being awarded to Lieutenant Colonel Bruce A. Gordon, United States Army, for exceptionally meritorious conduct in the performance of outstanding service while assigned for four years in the highly responsible leadership positions throughout the White House Communications Agency, including service as the operations officer for, for more than two of these years. In addition to these responsibilities, he had also traveled as a presidential communications trip officer on 20 trips in direct support of the president. Lieutenant Colonel Gordon's accomplishments culminate 22 years of distinguished service to his country and reflect great credit upon himself and the United States Army. Gordon, why don't you come on the other side over here? <laughs> <laughs> It's even darker, so that whatever they, but just so it's this size and there and is tiny. one that is oh. reddish, okay. yeah, yeah, sort of a reddish color. So this, but this is the second one. This, huh? this is the second volume here. Yeah, this is the second one. The first one was, uh, well, this was a little bigger, and it was, as you say, it's kind of a reddish, darker color. So whatever uh, the color, I think, okay. just so it's that type of book and that size. Fine. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank well, you. President yes. Miko Kaufman, hello there. The artist is called today. President and Donald Schwartz, nice yes. yes. hello there. Well, what do I do? Is <laughs> <laughs> that right over here, Mr. President? I sit over there. Yes. There's a mock up if you'd like to look at it. Yes. You look. Uh, doesn't seem like it needs any more work to me. <laughs> That's fine. Well, it's reassuring to see. Please don't feel obliged to hold the pose. Right.
supposed to whisper in the sick room. It makes the patient <laughs> <laughs> Prime Minister, Prime Minister, my best friend. Nice to see you. We're friends. Good to see you, sir. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. need you right up there in the show. Oh, show <laughs>